doing another shield run today because the last one went so well. To be fair, that wasn't the fault of the shield itself. It was really my own incompetence, but uh, uh, it's the greed shield. When you parry, you get gold, and if you're a little bit low on funds, you can get even more money. It's an item that I rarely ever take because it doesn't offer too much in terms of offensive or defensive capabilities. Well, at least not more than your usual type of shield. However, that's the exact reason why I wanted to do a showcase run with it, because it's such an unusual item compared to anything else in the game. I mean, you think of like other games, the idea of a slightly suboptimal shield or sword that gets you extra money or maybe even another benefit like extra experience or mapping. That's not uncommon at all to see. But in Dead Cells, you get this shield and what, the couple items that you get in the specialist showroom, the hunter's grenade and the map. That's, that's about it. And really the hunter's grenade stops being useful as soon as you as soon as you get all the blueprints and the map, I don't know if that's ever really been worth it compared to the price that you gotta pay for it. Also, now that we have the Explorer's Rune, it's become significantly less useful. So that really leaves just the shield. And unlike those items, I do think that this has the potential of being very good. After all, if I was thinking about like a run where I had an infinite amount of money, I would just be able to reroll shops until I got the perfect build re-roll uh, individual items until I get the perfect affixes, and then just buy out every single one of the food shops to make sure that I am in no danger of dying at any point in time during the course of the run. It would be great to be super flush with cash, and maybe this shield can do that. I don't know, money has always been kind of a weird thing in Dead Cells, because in the past, I know Motion Twin has tried really hard to make it so that money actually feels like it's worth something. Back in the day, it actually used to be that you would end pretty much every single one of your runs with just a ton of cash. You, you couldn't even spend it all. But then through a bunch of updates, it got kind of in the other direction where I, I remember when they first introduced potions that those things were so expensive that on higher cell difficulties, you could not possibly afford a potion. Even if you saved up all of your money for an entire run, much less when you would actually find a food shop. But these days, I think with a couple, uh, okay. I think with a couple uh, changes to shop prices and you know, generally how you can sell stuff, as well as some money sinks like the, the clandestine forge and the re-rolling stuff in shops. It, it's doing pretty good. It's well balanced as far as money goes. So the, the greed shield, maybe there's something to that. Maybe it's going to actually turn into a real, uh, a real hidden gem of a weapon by the end of this, just because even though it's a kind of a mediocre shield, it's just giving me so many other benefits from what it can do. Or maybe it just won't give me enough money to be worth anything, and it will continue to be a never-take sort of item. <laughs> the point is, this is all a be very belabored way to say that this is the money episode. That's right, I'm going to be getting all the money that I possibly can. And not just from uh, the shield itself, I'm also going to try to prioritize grabbing something like a uh, gold as well as a cell, and maybe trying to grab all the cash I can? I don't know. So yeah, if you were wondering why there are 36 ad breaks in this episode, well, there you go. That uh, foie gras bust of Velvet Einstein ain't gonna pay for itself. No, none of this is true. <laughs> no, really, I just hope for it to be kind of an unusual run, because this is... It's such a rare thing to see in Dead Cells, something that doesn't... You're not supposed to use to kill enemies. And I'm hoping that it's good, because I, I have rarely ever even given this weapon the time of day. And I'm really hoping that it'll turn out to be much better than I'm considering it. Who knows, who knows. I would certainly love to see other items like this in the game. You know, it's things that are less focused around just killing stuff and can give you... I've always said that uh, Dead Cells is not so much a... is way more of an action game than it is a roguelite compared to a lot of other examples of the genre. And stuff like getting a little bit more manipulation, something else that I've been talking about a lot recently, 
would be very welcome. You know, not even just stuff to, maybe it's just stuff to get you extra cash, something like getting a, uh, I don't know, the, the shield appears to be made out of gold, so how about something like a shield that just becomes more expensive as you take it through more areas? Suddenly, it uh, you can recycle it for 10 times the amount of gold if you take it all the way to end game, and then you, then you can use that to fund, like, a uh, bunch of purchases when you get into the five cell area. Or maybe like a, a, a antique, okay. <laughs> or maybe something like, I don't know, an antique sword that uh, becomes more valuable or gets you more gold on killing enemies. Not something that would be super amazing to use, but it would give you a secondary benefit that would be interesting. I think something like a, a, if you think about it, maybe something like Cursed Sword. You're already taking such a risk doing that. Maybe if you take extra curses on top of that, every extra curse you take, you're able to get something like a, uh, uh, a thousand gold. So that like from the first area, if you're breaking down all of the showcase doors, you could get a hundred thousand gold, but you also have a hundred thousand curse to deal with. I mean, and that's just gold itself. There's easily other things that you can do in the game. For example, I was talking a little bit about the the map. The map that exists in the Specialist Showcase. That is an item that, yeah, not super useful because of uh, the cost as well as... Shoot another one. Uh, the cost as well as the, uh, just generally the Explorer's Rune. But if you, say, made it so that it refreshed every once in a while, I could see it being much more useful. Maybe after killing X amount of enemies. If you, uh, I don't know, maybe just carrying it around gives you like a larger area so that when I'm exploring around here, it ha I have like a two times map revealing range or something. Maybe like make an explorer's sword that'll do something like that. And it's like, that's all, the, you know, map, showing the map as well as maybe getting a little bit of extra gold. Those are two ways to do it. You could also have stuff like cells. I, I just saw vampirism, for example. That is something that affects, like, say, a lot of enemies. Maybe if there was super liposuction that you had to have in your inventory, but would also give you uh, extra cells when you kill enemies. Or maybe it transforms every enemy into an elite. And then it will give you an equivalent amount of cells to fighting an elite once you beat all of them. I don't know, getting extra cells, getting extra gold, all that sort of stuff, I think would be a pretty interesting addition to the game. There's also even, like, other stuff you can do. Well, one of the things that I've always noticed that has been missing in uh, in Dead Cells specifically is the idea that there's not really too much that you can do to manipulate, like, the map that you're going around. I mean, I, I would love to see an item that, you know, like, ah, it's a, it, it, it's a weapon master's ticket so that it guarantees, like, a weapon shop in the next area you go to. Or a food ticket. That would actually be super good. I would definitely take an item that just guaranteed a on-demand food shop whenever you want, you'd want it. I think that would be pretty cool. And I think that, you know, all these sort of items would be super welcome in the specialist showroom. As of right now, we got two kind of, eh, they're okay items in there. Come on. Give me my money. Okay, uh, yeah, we got like two kind of okay items in there, but I, you know, you could easily buff that out with a little bit more, and then that would give you extra items without, uh, say, polluting the item pool with a bunch of not, you know, super gimmicky garbage items. Uh, maybe that would be something to think of in the future, just because I, I'd like to see that. There is also still curses. Curses have plenty more things that I think they could do. And there are also stuff like uh, getting um, bonus areas. As of right now, there's no... Well, that was not great. Uh, there's no consistent way of spawning in a bunch of the... Come on. My money. Uh... Yeah, grab that. Okay, uh, 90 is not a whole lot, but um, hey, at least I got like 70,000 and I'm only in the second area. That's not bad. That means that when I get to a shop, I can go start re-rolling stuff like crazy and hopefully getting some real nice items. And then consequently some real nice um, affixes on those items. 
If I'm going to be going through the sewers, I probably do actually want to get either healing or more giant whistles. More giant whistles, I think, would be very, very useful because that's just great against the, the conjunctivius entirely. Still, fa fairly easy to get all of the parries here. But yeah, yeah, uh, I was saying secret areas. Secret areas you could definitely do something with. You know, whether it's like getting a variation on challenge rifts, like, hey, here's an item that gives you more challenge rifts, so the challenge rifts just contain a lot of gold or something. Or maybe even something like a, here's another cursed item. Here's like a, ugh. actually, can I get gold from you guys? Yes. Is it worth it, though? It's worth it enough. Anyway, um, yeah, look at another cursed item. Maybe, like, a, how about a cursed idol? And what it does is... Oof. And what it does is uh, you carry it around, like, and in, like, a cursed sword. It's just constantly cursed. But it also always guarantees a, a challenge rift in each area that you go to. However, if you drop it, oh, that's too bad. However, if you drop it, you immediately lose that challenge drift. So there's like, I, I could actually see myself taking something like that. And that's something I think would really fit into the specialist showroom. More in the way that like how the YOLO mutation used to be a, how the YOLO mutation used to be a, uh, a necklace that was guaranteed in the first area rather than a mutation. Something like that. I could see that being, well, it could be interesting in terms of uh, gameplay. I don't know how well balanced it would be, but... Certainly, I don't think that anybody's expert enough at this game that they would be like, Yes, I want to be cursed at all points in time so that every level I go to... Come on. I need my gold, man. Uh, so that every level I go to has a... Uh, has a, a challenge rift that I need to get cursed in to get an extra stat. Sure, that would result in some pretty powerful runs, but at such ridiculously high cost. I guess you could combo it with something like Ice Armor, but even then... Well, I don't know. I mean, it's ultimately, a lot of the stuff I'm saying right now is mostly due to, due to a result of... Uh, hey, we got an hour of time to fill, and this is also something that I've been thinking about all day at work. So, here we are. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. A specialist showroom, I do think. Ooh, you know what would be good? More stuff to do with the Hunter's Grenade. I think, like, an interesting way you could buff that thing up is just by allowing you to uh, continue, continue to throw Hunter's Grenade at enemies. But instead of dropping the blueprint, they just drop the item that they would drop a blueprint of. Maybe? Maybe there's something there? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, hour to fill. Anyway, give me a little bit of a buff up here, and I got the money to, like, actually re-roll this a couple times. Not too much, because I might be switching it out immediately, but for right now, yeah. No, I think that this is going just fine. It's not quite the blowout, uh, as much money as I was expecting, but it's still more money. 50000 especially after buying stuff, re-rolling shops, re-rolling items, is still quite a bit. This is an interesting take. <laughs> Uh, I will use it for right now. I'll probably end up switching this out for something else. It's just the idea of, you know, a little bit of range. Even if it's not amazing range, I think it is enticing. Oh, besides, if I have any problems, I'll just uh, giant fist my way into winning. <laughs> As you do. The giant is always there to back you up until you fight him. It's actually a surprisingly bad weapon against the man himself. Because uh, his hands can only take so much damage in a single hit, so... Thank you, giant, for the love of God. If you punched the bombardier, I would have been very disappointed in you. I mean, I, I would have understood. I was talking a lot of guff about your... Uh, the damage caps and how your own fists don't do very well against yourself. Maybe he also just gets like a huge amount of damage reduction because that's thematically appropriate. Well, whatever. The point is, against everything else, it's great. And especially against the Conjunctivius. And we're talking about a survival run, so... A survival run v Conjunctivius can be a rough one. 
However, if I get the right money, if I get the right amount of money, and if I get the uh, right items, it can be super trivial. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for. <laughs> we'll see. In the meantime, I should probably be at least yoink, attempting to get a few more parries here now that I'm no longer cursed. That's uh, kind of an important part of the run as it exists right now. <laughs> Gotta get that cash. I guess these are actually Grenadiers, they're not Bombardiers. So that's where they've been keeping these guys on 5-cell mode. Hello, it's me. Oh, great, and this is gonna be an annoying set of things to do. Well, hey, an elite Grenadier, I'm not as worried about as, as an elite anything else. <laughs> Especially as soon as I get my uh, Giant's Fist back up, it should be totally okay. And there we go. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, it's more gold as well as a cell. As long as I have that on here, I feel like uh, the money run is still intact. For now. I am definitely going to be switching this item out very soon, let me tell you. Uh, it, it's fine for now, though. Perfectly okay for now. As is the amount of uh, gold ore that I've been getting. I don't know, I mean... Yeah, especially showcase. It, it, it's just really unfortunate because I do like the, I do like the map. I do like the map. It's just it costs so much, and you're really trying to get some sort of run working for you that early in the game, so it's almost never worth taking. But it is a cool idea, and it is something that you know can could possibly be a a good take most of the time. It's just. I don't know. More often than not, I generally don't like it. You know, I'll take the Rhythm and Bazooki. Give it to me. Lay it on me, my dude. I got the money to make this thing work. And besides, as we've seen previously, this is a pretty good item. <laughs> yep. Now, that I do want to watch out for. However... Oh no, it's not the thing. Not the, the invincibility barrier right there. It's also unfortunate that you can't uh, <laughs> parry the slammers. I think once upon a time you definitely could with the bombers and the slammers, but uh, not no more. Yeah, and much like other times that I was using the hello, and much like other times that I was using the shield, this is definitely a place where it's gonna be rough to... Yeah. Oh, come on now. I'm not even worried too much about the damage itself. It's more about the malaise. But anyway. Yeah, if an enemy can't be parried by the shield, it's a little bit uh, rough. Get that parry! Oh, I hate that they have that little bit of extra... There we are. I hate that they have that little bit of extra... Um, uh, hit the... Extra range behind themselves. That's something that has really been messing me up. So is this guy, but uh, he's gone now. Don't even worry about it. We do not need to fear any more training dummies that just somehow happen to gain sentience and also a... Uh, killer shield at least until they start getting swung at me in why did I do this in the final area of the game that was a dumb idea that I did there again I'm not too worried I mean hey you know I should probably be okay to take a potion charge if I go into if I'm going into the well if I'm going to the ramparts I'll be totally fine but if I'm going into the uh Graveyard, same thing. There's also another uh, place for potion charge there. Now, that is going to, unfortunately, be something of an issue coming up here with, uh, with the, the, the boss that I've decided to go up against. Great. Ah, uh, who knows? I mean, as always, I can just do another run. <laughs> it just depends on how I'm feeling, what my level of confidence is at. Besides, uh, after this point, I should also be able to go grab, say, Dead Inside, which will be a lot nicer, friendlier in terms of malaise, as well as 
Just in generally being a friendlier in terms of health that I have. There. And anything else you want to give me here? I'm still on the lookout for some real good items. I don't know what I would want to get out of this run. I, I do think that... You know, how about this? And I'll try to go for a, a uh, wolf trap. I should be able to reroll stuff enough to manage to find that in the future. I think. And that will be the sort of thing that will send me into having a very nice run. Because you can, because if you're using Wolf Trap, you can very easily get uh, Poison Synergy. And I can reroll this to get like critical plus 30% and then plus 40% on just like base damage and everything. Ugh. Well, I'll reroll it soon enough. And yeah, don't even worry. And then, like I said, there. Yeah. No, this is okay. I mean, as far as money goes, I uh, don't know. Same greenish substance? That's clearly, like, yellow or golden. Unless I'm seeing it wrong. Maybe they're talking about that torch in the background. Well, anyway, the, none of this has anything to do with anything. Ugh, I'm, other than that, I mean, I'm mostly worried about just uh, getting hit by criticals. I'm going to try to get as many parries as I possibly can, and it should be fairly easy in this area. I mean, it's a good thing that every single enemy has golden teeth in them. Otherwise, that would be kind of an issue. Maybe it's uh, due to the result of the, the the way the malaise works. That perhaps it had some sort of, like, alchemic component to it. So what happened was that, for reasons that I can't scarcely imagine, it also turned part of their organs into, like, gold and, like, jewels. I mean, think about it. That actually makes some sense because they do explode into jewels when they die, even if they're like worms and stuff. Is this a really crackpot theory or might I be onto something here? Well, I'm going to say this is a real crackpot theory. What am I even talking about? <laughs> so yeah, a uh, new part of the malaise, it causes you to turn to gold partially and also zombify. An unfortunate side effect. All right, uh, well, hey, whatever. Whatever gives me the, um, I guess it kind of looks like a D on the shield. It's not really dollars. It's like Dead Cells dollars. DSD. And yes, the S is cells because it's a, it's a pun on money. I thought that was some really clever wordplay. Maybe it's a little bit too cerebral for you. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, give me more, give me more cash. Thank you. And thank you. Getting the uh, enemies freezing is also helping a lot in terms of getting me a lot of usage out of my, out of the Nutcracker is critical right now. It's not going to be as useful when I go up against the boss, but I mean, at, le at least I'll get like one good. Ooh, is that Toxic Cloud too? Perfect. Could not ask for anything more. And <laughs> Bleed Propagation, where were you in the last episode? Could have really used that on the uh, end game. Oh, it's a scroll. Uh, Could have really used that on some of the end game. Okay, I'm curious. Try that again. I know you can parry this. You can definitely parry that, by the way. I don't know why it wasn't working. <laughs> Maybe if I just do it like. No. Okay. <laughs> Well, I do get damage up versus the uh, ball and chain. I guess it was just a little bit unusual due to shenanigans because that's not really something that I think Motion Twin expects you to parry a lot. But, you know, whatever works. All right, come on. Give me your golden teeth, Tentacle. Uh, I don't I don't really want to risk it because I'm already feeling a little bit high on the malaise. I don't really want to screw around with that anything more. I mean, do they even have, like, money in this... There. And... One more for good measure. Anyway, uh, do they even have money in this world? It seems like it's just gold, right? I mean, they got, like, the little D coin down in the bottom right corner, too, but... Like, most of the money I'm getting is... It seems more like a barter system. They got, like, gemstones and stuff. How much do I need? 13,000. And what does it say? Uh, loot increases if you're less than 22,000. 
I thought that it said 200,000 at first, and I'm like, ooh, good. And I'm really getting some good benefit from that. No. Good try, though. This is where you find the alchemic carbine blueprint, in case you were wondering. I'm just going down here for a little bit of extra cash. It's the money run, after all. And cash rules everything around me. Mount for dead presidents represent me. Uh... Grab it with both hands and make a stack? Is that a quote from... Is that the right quote from... Oh my god, what a great get! Okay, never mind. Uh, forget about everything that I was talking about. R.E. Uh, getting... Forget about everything. R.E. Uh, getting, like, not cracker synergies. <laughs> We're going for Giant Killer. Going all in on Giant Killer. Oh, hell yes. Look at all of this. Oh my god, what an amazing Giant Killer too. It's like, I, I could not have asked for anything more. And that has absolutely nothing to do with trying to re-roll stuff for money. And I'm probably not even going to end up re-rolling this anymore. So, that's that, <laughs> I suppose. All right, let's just keep getting on here. More parry, and good. Get that. Get that golden, that slimy, slimy tooth from that thing. Keep on moving here. Do not know how tentacles got so rich. Or even where they get their dental work done, but... Whatever gives me the cash. Good, good, and... Well, I mean, I'm also going to get such a... Whoa! <laughs> such a tremendously huge damage, but... Well, close enough. Damage bonus just from using uh, Giant Killer alone that I don't think it really matters. No, we're looking pretty good. Gold as well as a cell. As much as I don't want to get rid of that enemies that freeze, I don't need it as much now. I mean, we're currently looking at... <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're currently looking at um, good damage right now. Yeah, like, everything is... Everything about this is very good. Can't be slowed down 40%. 100% uh, on poison. I mean, if I got something like a... I got something like um, extra damage on a critical, but even that's probably like asking for two. Well, that was my own fault. Come on. <laughs> Why do I even try this sort of stuff? Anyway, let's just get out of here. Really shouldn't even be bothering fighting a lot of these uh, Joe Schmo enemies when I got, you know, bigger fish that I could fry like you. And that's how you do it. No, don't get it. I think it has to be a um, fresh enemy to parry before that you can actually get any benefit out of the, the, the gold part. The transmutation that your shield can perform. Because I... Because that should have otherwise dropped like a golden arrow there. Oh well. That's fine. I didn't really expect it to because that would probably be a little bit cheap. But uh, worth a try anyway. Ugh. Not even mess around when there are spikers down here. Done and done. As always, this place is as unfriendly to survival as you expect it to be. So I'm still being very careful, but I think at some point in time that I should get a, unfortunately, have to go get a curse chest. And that's where things might start to turn a bit sour. Because although this is a great uh, set of items, it's, yes. Oh, what good, what, what good luck on this. I didn't even take the uh, cursed idol. <laughs> Let me make like a cursed mask. Although, wait a second, how would the Dead Cells guy even use a mask? No, what I said was stupid. Yes, and that's gold as well as a cell too. Good, good. Keeping up that cash-rich lifestyle. Gotta have my five haircuts at the same time. Uh, white gold pants, jet ski made of one. How many lyrics can I remember from Wales? <laughs> I guess we're just gonna make that this part of the episode now. Hey, we're getting to that point again. <laughs> you wanna know my uh, favorite types of uh, potato chip flavors? Well, like favorite types of Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure that there's probably plenty of people who would be like, yes, I am interested in this. This is the content that I subscribed for. But, uh, no, that's not what we're doing. Okay, 50k gold. I haven't... Against all odds, I have not used a potion charge yet. I was really considering it before, but, um... Yeah, oh, sure. 
Good, and that'll get rid of a little bit of malaise. Yeah, no, this is looking really nice. Yeah. I would like some goggle items that give you just... I would love to see some more mapping. I think mapping is a good idea, and I think that I would really get a lot of usage out of it if it wasn't just the one thing. Nope. Uh, again, how would Dead Cells guy use goggles? <laughs> what I said was stupid again. Good. And then warp right out of here. Ugh. Maybe something that would increase critical hit or something like that. A monocle. I mean, I've, I've already gone over what sort of things Dead Cells guy would wear as far as eyewear goes. And we're getting to the point where I'm just running out of stuff to say. I don't think that Motion Twin would want to screw around too much with like things that would give you extra stats unless it was a super huge risk, though. At least that's the way I see it, because it's already very specifically designed for having so much stats. It's just money gives you an advantage. Ah, what a coincidence that I find that in here. Uh, money gives you a distinct advantage without being extremely overpowered. A lot of money is just nice to have. Yeah, I'd say this would be a little bit more worthwhile than the tonic at this point. Tonic, I got some good usage out of. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, uh, coming into this area, having that extra little bit of... Did the sweep. It didn't do the uh, jut up from underground. Uh, yeah, coming into this area, got a lot of usage out of it. So, I'm not disappointed by with my uh, choice to take that for now, but, you know, in the future. Well, to be honest, I kind of... What's a heavy grenade look like right now? Um, 6,000 damage. No, Giant Whistle is going to be better. <laughs> Giant Whistle is going to be better. You're not, though. And you for the money and anything else that I even consider taking. Maybe? No. I don't really like that. Uh, I don't really like the seismic strike. We're going to have to do a uh, showcase on that eventually. But it is really an item that the stun isn't long enough and it's still very slow. And there's a bunch of problems with it is kind of the thing that I'm getting at. So yeah, easy come, easy go. A little high, a little low, but... I mean, the the giant's whistle is so good against Conjunctivius. And despite, you know, saving up a lot of money, I don't think I... Oh, no, no, what am I even doing? There's plenty more stuff to get. Oh, thank God for the Explorer's Rune. Even though it did invalidate that item that I've been talking about this entire time. It's just the, the use I'm getting out of it right now is so good. And get a good parry there. I don't know if I get money for that. It would be weird if I transformed eggs into gold, but certainly stranger things have happened in this game. <laughs> all right, 19. Not like an all-time record-breaking amount of stats, but pretty good. And then, sure, sure, what, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of committed to like going to every place that I possibly can just to, out of the idea that I'm going to be trying to go for money. That does require a little bit of ex extra exploration than what I'm used to, but if the price is right. Ah, <sighs> okay. I didn't take any damage there, but yeesh. Really thought I was going to get hit by that second dude. 300% extra damage from this. Also, it's still making it kind of worthwhile for right now. I don't know if I get too much more benefit from getting a higher parry. Well, something I got to check right now. How much extra money am I actually getting? So, from this point, each gold tooth that I've been grabbing... Oh, I can't even check here. I'll go find a different enemy, and I'll, I've been getting 90 gold from each gold tooth. What do I get now that I am under the threshold of 62,000? Like, how much more money am I really getting? Is it enough to truly make it worth it? Because... Oh, um... 75,000. So, yeah, it does actually increase the... Uh, the minimum amount required. I don't know. I, I, I want to see. I want to see. I want to do a little bit of comparison shopping just to see what do I actually get here. Come on, my dude. <laughs> Why am I going for this enemy? Uh, 110. Wow, it's a whole 20% increase. Uh, just about. 
That's... That's... Not... As much as like a hundred, I'm gonna be real with you. A hundred isn't that much, but I was thinking it's like, oh, maybe if it's like 200, 300, maybe it would be a little bit more worthwhile. Uh, I'm thinking the verdict on this is probably gonna come down on the side of not enough money to be worth it. I, th I think I'm probably getting more money just from grabbing a bunch of the, the, the gold cells as well as the other thing that I'm doing to try to make this a, a cash rich run. Rather than, you know. Yep, and that's what I wanted. It's a big hit to start with. And. Yep. Giant Killer is pretty nice. I mean, it's still a pretty good run, even despite that. It's just. Yeah. No, what? I No, I did. I did get the gold there. Good. Because I was going to say, it's like, you definitely have. I've definitely gotten that at, in previous uh, runs that I've done with this item getting getting uh, teeth from these tentacles. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, that works. And then one more should do this easy. Dash at me and they'll do this, 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 and this. Oh, what a good combo. Even for a survival run, this is actually going pretty well. Of course, this is overall a pretty good uh, set of items for a survival run. Which in some ways, hey, that's what I wanted. Uh, being able to buy the perfect build from a shop. It's just, I don't know if that's due to the shield. <laughs> well, maybe I'm just getting down on the shield. Maybe it is doing more than I'm thinking. Somebody that's been paying more attention to myself, uh, tell me if that's true or if I'm just trying to, um, trying to justify this a little bit too hard. There we are. Good. I'm surprised that I actually did manage to get that parry there. I started it up way too early. <laughs> 300% extra damage. When you got uh, something that... Yes! Uh, yeah, 300% extra damage when you got something that does not get the critical against it. Or when you got a giant killer that does not do critical against those tentacles. It's not as impressive as I would hope it would be. I mean, overall, this is a weapon to be used on bosses and very little else. And that's... That's just the, how it goes. <laughs> but, hey. It's rare that you can get a good... I mean, I guess if you have, like, good stunning and everything, you can... And, uh, good synergies. Really? I could have swore I got hit in that fight. I'm gonna be real with you. I, I... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna argue. But also, like... I really didn't think I got that. Okay, well, the Giant's Fist, or, yeah, the Giant's Whistle has kind of served, served its purpose at this point, so I'm going to just throw that away, and we're going to, uh, yeah, get some nice trivial um, movement and speed increases, fire synergy, poison synergy, electrocutes, that's the sort of thing that really helps out in a, yeah, yeah, no, that's what I wanted, because <laughs> I don't need the poison on that anymore. And I do need the extra stats. This is all turning out very nice. I do think that, hey, if I can re-roll a lot of my stuff very easily, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this, but also... Well, you know, maybe something blind faith could be okay, but I think I just want acceptance. I've died way too much to curses recently to be carefree about that. And I'm perfectly willing to not eat food otherwise because I should be able to afford a potion charge that's that's kind of one of the ideas that I've been going with right now and I certainly have all of the stuff required to make this work yeah <laughs> I almost got hit by the retaliatory grenade which would have been quite embarrassing oh also something that I want to do you can duck under that! Oh my god, somebody told me in the comments last time and I forgot to check it until literally right now. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I'll, I will remember that for the future. Anyway, what was I saying here? Uh, I don't know. Curse is bad, and I am not want to die to that. Oh, also I should get an upgrade for my shield. That's what I wanted to say more than anything else. Okay, okay. Well, can I parry you guys? Oh, and that does actually... Huh. 
I could farm like a little bit of gold from the, the infected zombies. I don't think it's worth it. And I think it's going to do more harm to me than good. Uh, gotta stop getting kicked by these guys. Even if it's just their feet, they still have malaise infected feet. Oh my god. I huh. Again, do not know how I managed to get out of that without taking damage, but uh I'll take whatever, man. I am not picky when it comes to uh being like, game, you should have hit me there. <laughs> Good, good. 60k, need 80k for a potion charge, and that should, if not get me down to virtually no normal A's, it should get me close. And then I think it's probably going to be the Sepulchre. <laughs> like, I'm going to be real with you. I don't really want to... I could take on the Giant like this. Certainly, I'd probably do pretty good, but... I think that it would also maybe be um, a bad choice. Okay then. Of course. Of course again. Oh, just kill him. Kill him. Wow. <laughs> Bow and Endless Quiver is actually quite the, uh, quite the item. I, is it? The thing is, is it better than Giant Killer though? Because the Giant Killer I have is so good. But like that range and not even have no I, I think the giant killer is better like the ring uh, i need a goal to sell can't get rid of that just yet um yeah the, the the damage is just so good on the giant killer it's rare that i would actually make that choice because like almost 100 percent of the time i even like against a regular giant killer the a, a, a color, a good colorless tactics item is going to win out like every single time. It's just, this is such a good giant killer and it's been working very well in this run so far. I can't possibly get rid of it. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else want to show up? Get smacked right down. Oh, well, the other thing is that going to the sepulcher will also just... Okay, we're looking at, like, take the potion charge already. Oof. Do it so I can get that extra money. Ugh. Gotta get those summers on Mars, man. Get money. I know I could remember a couple more lyrics to that song. And look, I can do song lyrics all day. You know how many songs there are about money? <laughs> a lot. More than three. This is also like a super good shovel, by the way, but uh, not something that I'm looking for in this run. No, I'm I'm continuing to go with what I know. I mean, after all, this is the this is the graveyard. It's not the easiest area to get through, and as we saw that one time, uh, it's also not a great place to be cursed. So I am perfectly willing to just jump out of here as soon as possible and then take care of the curse very quickly by getting into the next area. Oh, I was going, going to go for the parry there, but I guess not. I do have the money to undo that potion charge, and I should be able to undo it very easily coming up here. Wings of the Crow. I should redo uh, that as an episode soon, just because, hey, for a long time, that was the most popular uh, video on the channel. And I think it would be interesting to kind of get a... Yeah, sure. Uh, to kind of get, like, an, another look at it. A second pass. But at the same time, too, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I'm closer to leaving this place. Or I have just, like, a bunch of uh, kamikaze bats that I can kill immediately. What do you have? Oh, sure. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for, like, another legendary item because I've been very lucky with those so far. I'm getting a lot of really good legendary items, let me tell you. But, uh, you know, I ain't pressing my luck here either. I'll also take stats. Stats are just an overall good improvement that does not require a bunch of other stuff to make work. All right. It's a good... Hmm. Anyway... Well, it's, I was going to say it's a good thing that I 
Would this be a place? No, not within the lead down there. No, 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 no. This would be a not good place for to fight, <laughs> to fight anything. Damage is getting real good though. Uh, I need that gold to sell. Gold as sell. Sell gold. Gold for selling. But, uh, yeah, that's... Oh, I don't want to risk stuff around here. Yeah, I mean, the thing is the gold as well as the sell is actually only slightly less. Ten gold less than just, uh, getting a... Getting a parry on an enemy with a gold shield. I, I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed here. But, you know, still been a gold rich run nonetheless. I don't have anything that. No, I do have something that will curse me if I eat that. I was trying to remember there, and I did, so we're not doing that. Now, would I be okay? Maybe. Do I want to risk it? No. Nah, what else we got going on here? I mean, I just... I think that, yeah, provide that I don't get killed to a curse, we're looking at a pretty good run. The stats have been good, especially due to getting a couple... Uh, a couple of the... The... Areas. You, you know the ones I'm talking about. You know the ones I'm talking about. And... Everything. I mean, if I can just get some few more, like, parries on stuff and everything... Hopefully I can manage to get enough gold to buy the cough syrup, and then I should be on easy street for the rest of the run. Although, I do also want to try to afford, afford one of these. I mean, it doesn't do that much. It's really not about the damage you get out of the shield. Y you do get some, but not enough to be worthwhile. I guess what I should do is I should go use the architect's key that I got right now. I'm going to be taking it a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical. In my pursuit of getting that fold in money, even though such a thing does not exist in this game, I should be doing this. It's just a it's just a good idea. And a little bit of extra money over there. I'm gonna need like sixty thousand, I think, before I can actually afford the the cough syrup that I'm looking at. Yeah, it's just I don't know, it's unlikely. Another thing that would be interesting is like an item, maybe like affixes on a weapon that would be able to give you extra money from killing enemies or maybe just something like getting uh, a percentage of your money extra as you go into the next area. I've been playing Hades a lot lately and that has been... Oof. That has been uh, something I've been using as far as like a, a perk in that game goes. I don't know, it would be something that uh, I kind of like to see. Hades has overall, uh, overall been a good game. I mean, I knew I would probably like it, but uh, I still, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think it's good. It's good. Am I going to do a series on it? Uh, maybe. Maybe at some point. I mean, one of the things that, like, the only really real reason that I don't want to do a series on it is because I feel ki like it's kind of a cynical, oh yeah, you know, it's the exact sort of thing you would see on this channel. Like, I'm just doing it for the money. Get it? Because that's the episode's theme. But at the same time, I mean, it does have a lot of stuff that I like. Almost more than anything else is the whole VN aspect of it. The visual novel, where the way that enemies... Or en enemies. <laughs> where the way that a lot of the uh, the characters in there have their own like uh, distinct personalities and everything like that. Makes it uh, unique in roguelites in a lot of ways. Which generally do... Do not focus on stories at all. I like it. I I would definitely like to see more games do that sort of deal. The idea that you're seeing these characters over and over and over. You can get kind of a rapport with them. The story, for the most part, is not really something that I care about in games. I mean, not that I don't care about story exactly. It's more that if... Uh, yeah, like, if there wasn't a story, I wouldn't mind. If, if there's no story in a game, who cares? But if there's a story, I usually like trying to at least uh, learn everything about it, you know, figure out what the plot twists are going to be, speculate, uh, kind of get to know characters, everything like that. But if there's nothing, yeah, no problem. 
I think the thing that I really like about it in uh, in Hades more than anything else is just the idea that it is a unique sort of thing in that game. It's just it's something different. And I mean, I'm always somebody that is more than willing to check out some... I've reached that level of snobbery in, in video games where it's like I'm no longer satisfied with the mundane and the conventional. I'm here to just go for like the experimental weird stuff. You know, it's like how people get into jazz or like watching avant-garde movies or something. I, I, I've reached that point with video games now. That's why I like to, you know, it's, it's the sort of thing where I was so kind of tepid on Ori, despite the fact that I even recognize that it's a very good game. But I love Puss. <laughs> yeah, take that out of context. I don't care. I like that game. Favorite game of 2018. I'm telling you right now, and I'm not going to back down from that. What about Dead Cells? Dead Cells came out in 2017 due to... It just was early access. I still consider it coming out then. So like how Minecraft, uh, the best game of the last decade? Well, it only came out in full access. Technically, it was in early access back in 2009. You know, you, you know the rhetoric. <laughs> I don't have to tell you the rhetoric. But uh, yeah, the Hades, I, I like it. Definitely gonna keep playing the game. End up doing a series, I don't know. I mean, it just certainly, I don't, I don't think I would be able to do something like Showcase in the same way that I do Dead Cells because, uh, the 1400 hour difference between the two games is a little bit too large to overcome. At least do like a video on each weapon or something. Also, it's like I don't. Ah, it's weird because I don't play roguelites enough. I usually just like, hey, here's the end of the game to actually get to the point where you would start to really uh, get a lot of the characterization going anywhere. Like, I would end the game before you even complete any of the character quests or whatever. No, yeah, maybe I'll... Maybe when there's, like, the, the super full release, like, every bit of the game, content complete is in there. Maybe I'll, like, start that up. In the meantime, just keep doing streams. Why not? Okay, anyway, uh, getting back to this. I... Sorry, Cash Shield. I just don't think you got what it takes. Look, I believed in you. I really wanted to believe that there was some sort of weird alternate route to victory through using purely the shield, but I just don't think it's there. I don't think it's happening. Well, still, I would like to see more. That's interesting. Again, would be a good item if I didn't already have such a great... such a great giant killer right now. Uh, it's like, yeah, I... I I would like to see Motion Twin continue to try to develop this idea. To continue to try to do more stuff like this, because I think that there is there is a rich vein of content, if uh, Dead Cells is going to continue to be updated in the future, of just like going for alternate routes of content. Not just mere... Not just mere items that exist to make it so that you can kill enemies better, but items that can make it so that you can get a finer amount of control yeah. good thing I got a shield uh, to get a finer amount of control over the game to really make it so that you can customize your run in wacky ways aside from just the presets that we already got in there but you know stuff that is fully endorsed by the mechanics that exist in the game or whatever I mean it's <laughs> you can just keep it as it is it's just, I think that specialist showroom, it could use a couple more things in there. There's a few... There is certainly some some seams that they could end up... Still no cells. Uh, there's certainly some seams that they could trace along to find some uh, more interesting content for the game. All right. Final, final uh, curse of the game. This is where the rubber hits the road, baby. This is when I really got to... Ah, dang. I was hoping to keep a few of those enemies alive to kill them easier in the future. Because those are... Especially with Electric Kid's enemies, they're pretty trivial dudes to kill for curse relief. I should be okay, though. And that's interesting. But, I mean, considering that on my craft of power right now, I have oil cover the ground with oil that burns. Yeah, not a not a important... um. 
an important thing to follow up on. However, this, on the other hand, very much important. Easy way to get two of the five kills that I need. And then hopefully the rest of them will be either just up ahead or... Watch out for knife throwers, of course. So very worried about knife throwers. If I run into them, I'm going to die. I'm promising you that right now. That extra run speed. Why is this hallway so long? It's so much stress for no reason. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a ton of enemies up there. Uh, a few enemies that I could just go backwards and go fight. I'm sure there's probably not too much for knife throwers there. And then, um, just in general, I can, I can just go up there as soon as I have the... Corrupt a power back up and kill all of these enemies trivially. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad that I was able to. Um... Uh oh. Uh oh, I should be fine. Um, okay, I'm glad that I was able to get rid of that curse before I got in a face full of axe. Otherwise, I would have died. I would have died much as if I got a real uh, face full of the axe deodorant on me. Look, give me a second to recover before you start getting some interesting commentary that's not garbage. Ah, mm, that would have been and that would have been a run ender. But the idea was there that I was gonna rush forward and try to get the kamikaze bats because that was two kills and then one more kill on the and then one singular extra kill on the on the 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 dark tracker, which would have been an easier enemy to fight. It, it, that was all I needed to do. And that, it, it worked out in that exact way. <laughs> my, my plan was a rousing success. Everything's too expensive. The irony. The irony that with a, with an item explicitly created to give you, ooh, nice. And you're missing out on some uh, good stats. Item explicitly created to give you extra money. I, I granted that I have not been using it as much as I probably should, but. And the electrocutes enemies is actually killing enemies before I'm able to use it. It's a good problem to have, but a problem nonetheless. Look at that hallway, by the way. It is... And it's like ossuary levels of uh, length. Oh well, with the extra speed that I get out of this, again, it sure is weird that I managed to get two of those... Two of these really good for a quick sword items when I'm still not doing the swift sword run. No, oh well, <laughs> just how it goes sometimes, I guess. All right, all right. Still looking pretty good. Still looking pretty good. Uh, slow. It's been a slow run, but it's been a good run. Make sure that I take that inside before I immediately go down to 10% health. And then, um, what else we got? Blind Faith? I mean, I am planning to do parries, I guess, a whole lot. Necromancy is the clear choice. How about just some good old-fashioned spite could also be good. Also, just some good old-fashioned extended healing. Potentially get some malaise cures, even though I rarely ever get malaise cures with that thing, and uh, a lot of extra healing. Provided that I don't totally screw it up, I should be fine. Extended healing has done me dirty in the past. Yep. I don't even really need the shield for this fight, but this isn't really a, a showcase of this shield in my opinion does not really Require a lot of usage of the Good uh, does not really require a lot of usage of the shield itself I think it's really the idea that you're getting all this extra money Because it's it's like this is This is a weird showcase. It's an item that doesn't that isn't really about attacking well, some really excellent items if I was doing a, uh, if I was doing a tactics run. Thanks, game. Not that it's really all that big of a deal. I have 30. I, I'm, I'm on set to get, like, 35 survival by the end of this. No problem at all. The only reason that I don't have that right now is because of the legendary items that I'm carrying. Because they're... Yeah, no. 
Uh, because the legendary items are kind of messing up my stat total, but giving me a lot of extra health. So, what do I really have to complain about? Ah, uh, well. Managed to get a decent amount of malaise down. Maybe a couple more elites, and I can uh, start to be looking really good. Maybe a good kill against the Hand of the King, and I'll be looking pretty good. Less than 62,000 gold. That just ain't happening. Yeah, and eh, here we also get the attacking just after a parry, which is pretty nice. I should hopefully be able to afford those by the time that I, uh, I get through this area. I could keep that for a little bit of extra healing, but ah, it's fine. I'll be fine. And this is certainly not a phrase that is going to come back to bite me in any way at all. Not even a little bit. Surely. <laughs> okay. Parries are a lot easier to get on these enemies than many other dudes that I've been fighting up until this point, so I'll take full advantage of this. In the meantime, Flawless, again, not a bad survival item, but uh, not one that I'm really all that interested in getting right now. No, there's, there's better choices here. Hello! Surprise, you're dead. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be as effective because this guy doesn't really have much for parryable attacks, which is an important part of a survival, to balance survival meal. <laughs> which was actually something that somebody said about the Hokuto's bow last time, which I'm just blatantly stealing. Uh, any comments you make on this are mine. <laughs> I'll go pin that comment or something so that they get properly... Oh, come on now. So they get properly uh, cited. Go check out the Blood Sword episode for more information, true believers. Come on, still no, no uh, gold as well as a cell. That's another thing that's kind of screwing up my uh, general... Ah, he's doing it so slowly. And then the again... Good. All right. Well, slow down the enemies can be as good as it is bad. And of course, no malaise cure, because why would there be? Why would there be? Okay, well, I also know where another door is. Uh, we'll be good to go in the next... For the next key, at least. And I guess I might as well go for all three. I'm doing fairly good on this run. I can try to max out the amount of... Yeah, I can try to max out the amount of stats that I'm getting, really make this a, a nice quality run. A nice quality run. Anything else? Anything else? Nope, nope, and nope. All right, let's get going, because this is... Only get one arrow from that. I mean, I guess I can't be too surprised, but still. I was kind of hoping to get, like, two of them, because you're getting hit by two things at a time, right? Those are some pretty tough enemies to deal with. <laughs> Slow down enemies. Ah, it's good. It's good, but the unpredictability of the attacks does. I mean, that's the whole thing where you'll hear this from anybody that plays any one of these sort of games where it's like stuff that slows down enemy attacks or just changes the pattern, deflects them, stuff like that. It makes them less predictable, and that can be a problem. Thank you for the love of God. I, I swear those things drop far. It should be like a 100% guaranteed drop from an elite for uh, for a malaise cure. Now, it used to be with uh, necromancy. That's that's actually what happened. Uh, like you cured malaise every single time that you killed an elite. But uh, motion twin changed that because that was absurd. <laughs> of course, these days, hey, nice. Anyway, there. I think that double parry more than makes up for all of the uh, bad, bad stuff that I did before. Um, yeah. It used to be way more overpowered when Motion Twin was still trying to figure out uh, malaise curing stuff with, mu with mutations, but at this point in time, it wouldn't be so much overpowered. It would just be good. It would be something that would make it more usable. Yep. That's what you get. 
Come on, two elites here. I should be able to get at least the one malaise cure. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Come on. And I think I should also have enough money to go and get a shield upgrade, which is something I would very much like. Although, I do think that if you're really trying to use this weapon properly, you should probably just switch this out by endgame for something that's going to be doing more damage, period. Or buffing up your main hand more, or giving you some more defensive options. Whatever. Why not? Finally get rid of the... I mean, again, it's like a starting item is not necessarily much worse than a current level version of this. Like, the, the differences are not extreme enough. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Uh, I don't think it's worth it, though. I actually really like what I got going on right now. Blair. I really liked all the stuff that was happening right up until I didn't. <laughs> okay, anyway. Now that I have all of my guess gold, but I lose out on uh, survival. Well, nothing's going my way in this one very, very specific... Like, almost negligible part of this run, getting a good necklace. Now, speaking of uh, Hades, Transistor by the same developer. Still got that on my computer, still have not played it for more than five seconds. Still gotta, gotta do that at some point in time. Unlike uh, something like Bastion, which I at least watched a full LP, count it, uh, which I at least watched a full LP of, I have not actually, I don't, I know very little about, um, know very little about uh, uh, Transistor. It is a weird blind spot. Especially because it's like, I, I feel like <laughs> playing Transistor is a lot easier than playing Hades in a lot of ways. Okay. I mean, I already got the... Oh, who knows? Maybe I can afford a potion charge in the last area or something else. Hope springs eternal for any sort of... Kill him right now. Uh, for any sort of potential potentiality. Good. And let's get out of here. Man, what a... I mean, it's not the best I've ever played, but that's what survival is about. <laughs> that's... Yeah, no, that, that's it. <laughs> ah, a good survival run can erase a lot of sins of yours. A phrase I like using. Ah, whatever, I don't care. A phrase I like using a lot. Throne room? I'm feeling uh, more than confident, to say the least. Also, with like a current level version, uh, Greed Shield 9, 11. It's, it's 11, it's, it's not... Can't read these letters, apparently. But you already knew that. All right, let's go. This is set to be one of those hour and a half runs right now, which is good in some ways, but I feel the content is already stretching a little bit thin, so... Or the commentary is stretching a little bit thin. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that was enough. I could have probably tried to get uh, the Hand of the King to fall on... Or the zombie to fall on that hand of the king. Hey, cool. At least get his teeth and... Done. Perfect fight. Wow. I nailed it on all of these bosses so far. Dude, don't, don't even say it. Don't even say... What about the final boss? But uh, I didn't say anything. Never want to say anything about that. It's just inviting disaster. This is where the whole, like, break a leg thing comes in. Because you really don't want to, uh... Don't want to get too haughty. Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess this could have been a double oil grenade run if I... I already have oil. I have it on the corrupted power. Does that... That's... That is such a bizarre thing to get two legendaries of. I mean, I've already been so blessed in legendary, legendarily wise that, come on, do I really need anything else? But still, it is, uh, it is a weird coincidence to get two of those. You know how many items are in this game? A lot. More than 
a few. More than you would see multiples of, but I guess that's not actually true, given what we've seen now. Okay. So it doesn't always work. Usually works, though. <sighs> okay, well, that's at least one way I can get rid of those guys. Maybe not the best, but it is maybe the one that I'm going to be doing. And then if I get extra money, I don't know, whatever. Done. And nice. At least again, erased one of my sins. For now. And I should check up here, because the lore areas sometimes hide some... Some stuff that I uh, regret missing. Or at least I feel a little bit uh, foolish for doing so. Alright, alright. Yeah, nothing too much here. Okay. Let's keep on going. Shouldn't be... I mean, I I want to say right now, it's like I got four potion charges. I'm down half on the malaise and everything. And it's just overall got a lot of really good items here, too. Also that, especially another another in the line of very good items that I've gotten. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty good. So, like... Yeah. Maybe shouldn't have risked that. Uh, so yeah, like I, 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 I think it's gonna go well. It's just how well is the question, of course. Hey, broadsword. I just want to see what it is. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna use that right now. We'll save the broadsword for another run. Giant killer is too good. <laughs> it's 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 too good. What can I say? Oh, potion? Or, uh, not a potion shop, but a. I mean, it is a potion shop, but it's also a food shop. Wow, we're, we're like looking real good. And, the, and here's the uh, here's the alien key. Yeah, no, this is looking like super good right now. I'm honestly uh, kind of surprised at the like goodness that I'm getting out of this run. It ain't like a, a real ultra banger like I've had in the past with you know 40 plus in my main stat and everything, and I hate this. But it ain't going too shabby. Yeah, I'm bringing that back at all. Wait a second. Is this the... What? Oh. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Anyway, I can finesse my... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Anyway, I can... Yeah, there's nothing I can do to actually get in there, but... That's... This is interesting. Yeah, no, this is a this is interesting. If I could get that giant whistle, I would just be able to punch those guys right here. Huh. God, I hope I fall onto something. Well, you have wall climbing, I should remember that. Again, uh Janky Generation and the and the Astrolab are synonymous with each other. As you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Good, good. Wow, just the Electrocute's enemies is doing an amazing job at keeping... Hey, thank you. Uh, finally, uh, is, is doing an amazing job at killing enemies effectively right now. And that's, like, not even remotely close to something that you would expect. Good job, Greed Shield. I mean, yeah, at this level, it's like the, the things you least expect are becoming quite powerful. Of course, that's the power of just a good run. That's how it goes. Do it. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, I'd like to go for the parry, but at the same time, I also know that I'm going to be going to be killing that dude with the electro bolts faster than I'm not. Good and good and done. Okay. I should also be able to afford, like, a... Maybe not a potion charge, but I can definitely afford a... Can definitely afford, like, the, the flu dealy to get as much, like, malaise cure as possible before the final boss fight. Maybe I should make this one, like, the, uh... Maybe I should make this one, like, the uh, try to beat the final boss without drinking the panacea. 
I bet it could work. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, as always. As always. 86,000, though, a good amount of help. Nope. I do get arrows for that. Fun. Uh, I don't think that really matters too much, but hey, that's cool. <laughs> right in there, eh? Oh, well, I'm not getting malaised up from that. I'm going to stand near everything while I got my super attack on. Hey, and there's another little uh, bit of malaise here. Malaise these. Have I done that before? Probably. Wait, why am I take? Why would I take that? That's a stupid idea on my part. I mean, I didn't take it, so my uh, honor has been uh, saved. I don't know. My face has been saved is more the word I'm thinking of. I don't know. We're kind of like getting to the. We're getting to the line here. I'm starting to get lazier. You can feel it more and more. <laughs> Just let me have this uh, weird bit of nonsense before calling it a day. Yeah, I think I can kind of maybe avoid that entire area to go through to get to the, the upper food shop and just kind of, yeah, do this. Hey, it works. Oh, 125,000. That is more expensive than I expected. Eh, yeah, give me this and I'll just get, and I'll be on my way. All right. Also, a couple potential more uh, malaise cures from the birds up here. Can't parry them for any amount of money, but that's fine. And what's like the end we got here? 87,000 gold underneath 87,000. So pretty much always have that active. Done and done. All right. Yeah, I think we're we're looking at pretty much everything that I could possibly want to get, aside from maybe the the whistle, but even that is kind of Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Reset this mutations, give me Let's go just dead inside, disengagement, and uh What was the other thing that I was using? Oh, extended healing. Ah, spite. <laughs> Spite is uh, good for getting a lot out of a shield, after all. Even if it's not a very powerful one like this one is. All right. So, yeah, I mean, a, a good run, uh, not a great item. <laughs> Just happened to have a good run alongside it. Oh, well. I had a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. Especially with this fight. Yeah, 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 let's go already. I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be, as always. Mm -hmm. Matt, ah, there was a hit. Oh, well. As always, it's like if you if it starts to get even a little bit... Uh, Oh, so close. Uh, as always, if it starts to get even a little bit, like, stressful for me, I immediately start choking. You know how it is. Thorny. Oh, no. No thorny this time. And keep going. <laughs> yeah. Should be able to cycle through the phases real easy at this point in time. All right. Can I get some gold from this? Oh, no. He's not doing the right attack for it. No, I can't get gold from that. <laughs> I was kind of hoping. Hmm. Hey, come on, man. I'll take him down easy enough. Don't even worry about it. It's 
Stop spamming that attack over and over. It makes it hard to hit you. Yeah, spam that attack over and over. Come on. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's absolutely no point doing ah, every time. He loves this attack. He loves it. Fine then. Two. And there. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Donk. <laughs> but yeah. There you go. Proved it. Absolutely no reason to do that, but hey, I had the run for it. 